Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This 2011 Toyota Tacoma with 147,000 miles on the clock is becoming channel superstar. I filmed for you, I believe, two different videos. One of them was regarding this TRD intake which the owner after I did that detail inspection for him decided for me to clean the element I actually took entire box out washed it outside everything was cleaned this is cleaned inside the muff was cleaned and the throttle body was cleaned today but there are still two more items on the list which he came back today for approved and that will be a clutch fluid flush and he said well you also mentioned that you might be able to dig out that broken antenna part so if you can I, I would love that if you can take care of it so I said yeah I will try my best on that and there will be a freebie for me if it's in the reasonable time but let's go together look on that clutch fluid the condition I'm sure you will agree that needs to be replaced or we call it flush so let's go and see how that procedure could be done and I guess it's our fault as mechanics that we don't educate you users enough here is the clutch fluid reservoir some of you or most of you know it's the same fluid like a brake fluid reservoir in this case it's a brake fluid dot 3 so many time services will recommend brake fluid flush and they will completely ignore the clutch fluid I don't know why I guess it's our fault and I deeply apologize for that and because this wasn't done for a while that brake fluid is in way better shape look if I open it what a disgusting fluid we have that clutch hydraulic system I'm sure you will agree this is not acceptable and we need to make end of this but really quickly before we will start that clutch I'm carefully spraying speedy blaster here hoping that the remaining part of the antenna is not completely rusted in and we will be able to unscrew it and I will personally start this whole procedure with cleaning around from outside working with or around brake fluid I always highly recommend you to wear a gloves the rubber gloves and eye protection so here it is how we open that top protective cap so I will grab the shop towel and collect that little thing and completely clean it and put it on the side I will show you one more time how it looks inside this time it's pretty nasty fluid isn't it because the brake fluid could damage vehicles paint we should always put another shop rags or towels and protect this area here on the table I have a new brake fluid and the old one where I will be putting that old junk. So my next step is evacuate all that bad fluid and start cleaning down there. But how do I get it out? I can greatly recommend to you such a syringe or the pump or whatever you want to call it this one is from CTA tools and you can 
evacuate right all kinds of fluid it can be a brake fluid it can be power steering fluid it can be transmission fluid whatever the whole set comes with two different seals some of them are for brake fluid it's very aggressive and the other set of seals here that plunger these are for all the other tools this you can buy on Amazon or eBay where I shop you can buy it for 28 bucks plus tax I believe there is a free shipping this tool is so important to me that if I don't have it I will have to close down this whole shop it's so good and important that I just bought today actually the second one identical I really really love this before I will stop talking about it, it also comes with such a thinner adapter. So you can put it on the end here. And this is way thinner tube to get in all kinds of places. Brilliant. Enough of talking, let's do some work. So I put it all the way down and look at it. And you will not believe unless you did it before what is actually inside let me show you so this is after I just vacuumed that first pull do you see that crut basically dust dirt it's sticking on the side and it's all on the bottom so I will switch to the blue shop towel I want to get as much as possible of that bad stuff out that's why i'm wearing those gloves right i told you please wear those please wear eye protection anytime you push there it can spray on you or something so brake fluid is extremely dangerous to the human health it shouldn't ever touch your skin because it absorbs actually through the pores of the skin in human body so nasty nasty please when you will do this yourself if you ever do but I think I will call this video how to sometimes subscribers complain he will he ever film anything how to he just talks about the things well this is one of those how to's today you are getting it in detail I will show you the effect of the cleaning. So our clutch fluid reservoir is almost perfectly clean and it's ready for the new fluid. And I don't need to use that pump. I will just use this DOT3 brake fluid from O'Reilly. That's my supplier. So carefully, again, don't even try to breathe it, stay away from it, and I will fill it almost all the way up. This should be always open as short as possible because the brake fluid will absorb the moisture from the air. So I just want to show you how clear it is. This is a different story, isn't it? So I will close it and we are moving underneath the vehicle. And why I cannot just stop here and call it done? Well, we still have in those lines down to the sl slave clutch cylinder. This was the master. There is a line going down to the slave clutch cylinder. And that, that is full of that old disgusting brake fluid. And we need to either vacuum it out or you can use the pressure also method now on the driver side of the engine and transmission I set up the light and here you can see that slave clutch cylinder there is a rubber boot on the end so I will remove that that little thing right here I will just pop it off and we will be loosening this bolt I think it's 10 millimeter and we will be vacuuming the remaining bad fluid from this line and from this cylinder. 
then brings another part you should have this is for the brake jobs which is identical right now with the clutch job and you need also the vacuum pump on the back here this will be pain to film because I will be getting in your way but I will try to minimize it as little as possible so you can see that was the protective cap of course it's going to fall off the light I guessed that it's a 10 millimeter which was easy because on Toyotas we have 10 millimeters and sometimes on the front it's 8 millimeter on the brakes so now I'm cracking it open and you will actually see that if you don't have a vacuum pump and you don't want to buy one plus that small container I will be using you can actually because this part is below below the master it will actually start nicely dripping out for you except if you wanna skip vacuuming it it might take for a while to drip out do you see that? I hope you see it. the camera is showing it it actually nicely drips out and I see that absolutely disgusting fluid coming out it's perfectly visible I hope you do see it too. <laughs> Let me check that angle. The fluid is coming out, right? Normally I will vacuum it. Now you don't let it get out too much because you will drain that master which is up there in the engine bay. You will introduce air in the system and that will be huge pain. So let it drip only maybe half of the master and we need to close this down this valve here you can see how much we lost it wasn't much because I'm trying to overdo it and just keep it on a caution side so again I will go almost full and now we can go back down there as you can see we don't even need a vacuum pump because in this case it's nicely nicely draining sometimes if the rubber dust cap wasn't there it will be not draining at all because that bleeder will be full of dust and dirt you have to clean it with a pick so if that happens to you don't get discouraged definitely this fluid the clean fluid needs to go all the way through there and only when we will start seeing the clean one we know we flush the whole system let's go back down there okay so I put you right behind the front driver wheel that's where you are being positioned right now let's open it again without spilling it it all over me which of course immediately starts coming on you that's why you have to have that protective gear can you see that fluid actually changing yep I do see the difference after that I will tighten nicely tight this 10 millimeter you can see it <laughs> don't over tight it because it's a small little unit you put that cover on it I have to wipe everything off I don't want to make any mess for the customer so wherever it dripped on here is that front shaft and so on I will clean everything and since you are paying attention as usually you starting actually having idea how little of the brake fluid you need for the clutch fluid flush if we were doing brake fluid flush I might need two D scans because you are pulling a lot of or pushing a lot of fluid but with these clutches they really don't contain much the whole system doesn't have much of that fluid so basically 
you might buy one of the small ones, small brake fluid cans, and you might completely get away with it. As you can imagine, this is important maintenance because that bad fluid can negatively affect the master, the line, or the slave. And then you might think your clutch is gone, but it's already, it's actually your hydraulic system. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Perfect action of that clutch pedal. I had many times customer who kept driving the truck for a long time with that old fluid. They will pick up the vehicle, they will say, oh, huge improvement in that clutch function. Despite the fact we basically just cleaned it and also basically bled the air from it. So that's all from me for today. And I can hear you, you are like, Peter, no, you are not getting away yet. What's about that antenna? Okay, let's go look at it together. So I had that special PB blaster sitting in it for a while. It's still actually, you can see it there. And I'm hoping that broken piece, the remainings of it, I will be uns able to unscrew it out. So let's go see if I'm naive or there will be a success today with this part too. I did this successfully just like a two weeks ago on the RAV4. It was on the roof and it was fr freshly... The customer broke it recently. Let's put it recently. So the part, the remaining part wasn't rusted inside yet. What I'm trying to use are two little picks and just turn it counterclockwise correct because that's an unscrewing of the bolt or in this case broken antenna piece if that broken part was bigger in size it will be easy to drill a small hole in it and then use that counter tool to just unscrew it but it's very tiny but it is still large enough for this little tool to make two holes across each other on that little stamp stem. And I hope these picks can engage enough and I put enough of that penetrating thing that it will start spinning see that counterclockwise and ladies and gentlemen sing hallelujah because the miracles are still happening who knows how this part was stuck there long who knows how long it was there we don't know this new owner bought it I believe like two months ago this truck but he expressed his hope right he said hey if you can if you can try to get that broken piece out because the radio reception it's pretty bad on this uh, if you can try to um, get it out uh, I can then install just a new Antenna mast. Do you see it? It's coming out. You see that detail? I have one hole here and one cracked piece right here. And that allows me, let me show it this way. I can really look at that and on the monitor and so on. But you see it's turning, correct? And actually it might be enough to use my finger it's happening here is the broken piece this is the entire chunk which we just wiggled unscrewed 
and the trick was make two different holes with that punch it was soft enough that it made two holes and it let me engage those little picks so dear customer we appreciate your business and here is a little gift from us you are ready to go get a new antenna and enjoy listening radio again and I know why it came out it, it's because of you so many were there behind the screen crossing fingers Peter get it out get it out it needs to get out so thank you for that support that energy vibe coming and helping me to get it out you always need some luck correct so thank you thank you for being subscribers watching channel thank you for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one bye